Well, hello, everybody. Hey, Penny, Donna, Kim. Hmm, who else? Becky and Deborah. How are you all? Okay, so tonight I decided to do some kids' cards. We all need them on occasion, especially if we're grandparents. So these are the sets. Sweet Songbirds, Elephant Parade, whoa, Yeti to Party. Oh, Yeti to Party, I only use this little Christmas tree. That's all. This Birthday Piggy and Hello Ladybug. Hello. Now, there was one happy birthday uh, from none of those sets. But I didn't mark it down what set it came from. Good job, Gail. Good job. Also, stripes and splatters. And I'm going to get my little machine because I did not, did not pre-cut the things I'm coloring. So I'll be cutting them out right in front of you. Okay. So card number one, and I hope I have them in the right order, is this little piggy. So cute. Okay. So the base, and of course I used one of my favorites a lot tonight, Stylish Shapes. It's a must-have for everybody. Must-have it. Must-have it. I don't know what I'm doing first. Here I am. All right, so we're going to stamp the happy birthday. And then that'll dry. I think I just did it upside down. I did. See, I get to do it a second time and probably smear some on my table. No. And with the memento... Who else snuck in here? Hi, Diana, Leslie, Jennifer, Marilyn, Carol, I think, Diana. I think I got you all now. Okay, so with the memento, just a memento. Be with you in a second. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start out with the piggy. Now, all the colors I used are, and I'm grabbing probably more than I need. They're all in the bin here. Let's see. Petal pink. I got ink on my finger. SU900, SU1000, and I think this is... Oh, light pump. Oh, I don't need light pumpkin pie. Okay. Let me just clear it off my, my finger a little bit. All right. So the SU-1000 is a little pinker and darker. No, it's lighter. Never mind. I'm going to do the dark petal pink. I think that's why I, I used more. More colors. I'm just outlining a little bit. Like where the shadows are going to be. Kind of, sort of. I don't get crazy with it. On these little images anyway. Okay, then I'm going to go back with the SU-900. Which is the darker one. All right. 
I think I did this last time too when I when I was doing the sample. So I'm going right over where I went before. That'll just make it betterer. Then the dark petal pink. And I'm going to bring that down and around. And I just went out of the line, but we'll fix that. Everything is kind of fixable, except dark reds. Oh, man. Reds are hard. Okay, so now we're going to make them a little pinker with the SU-1000. And you go over everything to kind of blend it in. And I think because they're newer, of course, I forgot that little spot in there. It's going to have a much pinker arm. All right. So to fix that, you're going to take your blender, which is a uh, Losing all its markings and just kind of push it away, push it into where you colored and it disappears. Okay, so for oh, I knew I had another one, SU 800, but I'm happy with how that looks. Maybe I'll try this on the nose and see how it, yeah, that's fine. We'll do the little feetsies. in the schnoz with that. Yeah, it's a little bit browner. All right, let's move these to the side and move on to, we'll do the balloon. So I have light and dark daffodil delight. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of light mango. How'd I get light so fast? <clears throat> Dark daffodil. Okay. So then we're going to go with the dark daffodil. Go over where you went so it blends it, and again with the light. Okay, so I'll do the flame while I have that out, and I'm going to do the plate. So, light. Mango Melody, a little bit on the edges. I swear I got these things all over. Then bring your, well, it's dark so saffron. That was supposed to be daffodil, but it's okay. It's all working. And then the light daffodil. It's kind of hard to mess up. All right, so I want blue and pink, 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 pink is missing. So pink is going to be the middle color, and I just grabbed a different one. I'm not doing two shades, just one. Here is Bommy Blue. And 
and some mint macaron. We'll do a little mint macaron on top. And where's the light balmy blue? Here it is. And the candle. Light balmy blue. Okay, then we're going to do the ground here. Because he's got to sit on something. So I have dark and light crumb cake. So I'm just doing some dots of the dark. Oh, I forgot his tail. Oh my. Let's grab some tail color. Oh, we'll do the SU-1000. Okay, so I did some dark. Now I'm going to do dots of the light. And then I'm not actually blending it. What I'm doing is going crazy. Did I not just have the blender? Oh, there it is. Okay, so what I do is you're just softening. So I'm going to do the same thing and just kind of dot over. And you're going right on top of those dots you made with those two colors. And it's just going to kind of soften them and semi-blend them. But not really blend them so you don't see two colors. So there it is colored. Okay. So let's put the card together. So we're going to put this on to mint macaron. Here's my glue. And you can do a background onto this. I wanted to keep these very simple. So this is the large die in there, and then a perfect three by three fits it. Be sleeping right next to me. All right, let's go ahead and put this on. Have I had any formal training? Mm, no. Just an art class or two in high school. And right there. So nothing popped up on this card. Oh, happy birthday to you, too. And then kind of center it. I didn't even put any. I don't want to dig them out now. 
I didn't even put any glitzies on it. So there's card number one. Okay. Card number two. Let me make sure it's in the same order. Yeah, I think it is. Is this card. And I do need to clean off this because I'm going to use blue. Okay, so that's ready. So Orchid Oasis, this is going to go on the inside. And this is actually the same DSP as the other one, just a different color. This is from the In Colors. And Granny Apple. Anybody can stamp. Okay. So, we're going to take the branch in crumb cake. And stamp that about there. Now I didn't put, put feet on the bird. I guess I could. But I didn't. So then we're going to take Granny Apple Green. So this fits like that. If you were just going to put, you know, those. But I kind of cleaned it off and only inked up part of it at a time. Oh. Oh, how did I want to do that? I'm not going to go as far as I went. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it. Clean that off. <laughs> and then bring them down here. Because otherwise it gets onto the bird's belly, which gets covered up. So it doesn't really matter all that much. Okay, now we take the bird in Orchid Oasis. And I'm going to bring them down a little further because I'm not putting feet on them. He's got them tucked up under him. <laughs> you can make any excuse you want. All right. So now, we're going to take the punch and I did have a little piece of green here. I wonder if it'll go up in. 
Nope, it's going to cut it. Nope, it's going to cut it. Oh, I want the green. I wanted this piece. Silly. We're just going to cut a beak. Any extra glue is going to dry clear, so you have no problem with that. Okay, then we're going to cut an inside piece. Now, I trimmed a little of it. If you, you can stamp it and then, you know, then cut it out. But I just trimmed a little bit off of it. It was like, I don't know, a little too much. Not much. So that piece is going to go there. You can do it in yellow or whatever color you want to make it. And I like getting it just a hair up so you see just a little bit of blue under it. Okay, now we got to do some eyes. I see you. I see you. And those. So the trick to the eyes is don't press too hard. And the set comes with two different Okay, we're going to let that dry a drop. And then I'm going to put a little white in his eye. And then the little music notes. Just add a little bit to it. Okay, so with my white marker, and then that'll dry. You can see where I tested. Oh, I forgot his wing. No, I can't forget his wing. Now also, there is a stamp for that. Now for that, I wanted it to... Oh, I've got white drops all over when I shut. For that, you want it to pop up just a little bit. I mean, you can do it flat, too. Okay. He's a happy little singing bird. That's going to go there. This one I popped up. Yep, yep, I did.
who's got perfectionism. Not me. Certain things. Certain things I want just right. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Hey, are my honey badgers in the chat tonight? I didn't look up. Gail. Oh, and of course I found my puff paint. You always find it like the next day. And it was right in front of me. But what I did worked. So experimenting is fun. So on the inside, if you wanted to, there's a littler bird in that set. And you can stamp it like right there. And you could decorate your car, your envelope with the leftover piece of paper you cut off of there. Um, I don't know why I have that piece. We need this one. Bling and bows. All right. Do I have the right side? Yes, I do. So I'm going to stamp happy birthday to you. And that is going to go down flat. So there's card number two. Singing, happy birthday, dear whoever, dear grandchild. Now we got the balloons and the elephant. Hmm. So this is the one I'm going to have to bring in the machine. There's one grass. I'm going to have to cut another grass, too, before I glue it all together. Okay. I can handle that. This one's disappeared. All right, so let's take our little elephant. Like so. And then, okay, now, and then remember I said that little Christmas tree? Let's stamp that right. Uh, ink on my finger. Okay, so now we need light and dark smoky slate.
So with the dark, ooh, this got very dark here. So I'm going to go around his ear. I'm going to go on that inner ear. On all those lines. And this little forehead. A little bit on this head. I'm not really concerned about his toesies. Because they're going to kind of get covered up, but I'll do them anyway. A little bit under his tail. His neck. Little dots here and there. Then you're going to take the light. And color in everything else. Now if your other side of your marker is still good, you can use that for the large parts. Oh, la-dee-da, la-dee-da. Now, spots that you want a little darker, go back over again. To say I want more shadow like under his ear here and say in his trunk and his neck so put a little bit more and then lightly go over with the light don't blend too much And your color will layer. I mean, just going over a spot where you did light will increase in darkness. Just by going over it again. You can also lighten up if you use your color lifter. Okay. So his little toesies, that's dark, basically. Here's the light. Or you can do them in a brown. I mean, it's ivory, really. But like I said, we're really not going to see that too much. All right, this piece to cut out another grass is not going to fit in that machine. So... If I can find the other piece that I cut the other thing out of and went, oh, no, I don't need this. I got another one. See, I did cut. I did cut more. All right, so we need the gloss. And there's two of them that come in it. And we need the elefante. So this is that tape that I love so much. You're going to get to see that. I 
think this will fit in there. Oh, that doesn't matter. This one, there isn't a die. I'm going to cut that by hand. Silly me, silly me. So this is how I put, even on my, I don't use a magnetic plate. I find that the magnetic plate, when you put things down, they want to slide. I mean, not like that. And this, basically, I, I wouldn't, but because I'm using the little machine, I'm going to do it. And that I'm going to color and cut out by hand if I don't lose it. <laughs> Anybody see where I put the machine? No. Okay. So, I'm a righty. I got to go that way. So, this is the mini. Mini, mini. Mini, mini. I'll just put it there. We're going to cut a white one, too. And crank her through. And I know some people that watch haven't seen this so oh it was out it's there so there's that one I need like this tape comes off so good and you can use it again a few times before it like disintegrates It makes me very happy. So this this machine does fold up like that, so it's easy to take. But for using around here, I just then I know that they stay together. I just halfway crank it through and leave it like that. So I don't lose these. Let's put them away. Because we all know how I am. Okay, so for the hat, we're going to take, not that side, Gail. We're going to take some green. We're going to take some orange up in there. Wrong side. We're going to take some red. Um, dark. Here. We'll do the light, which is still dark. And then the Mango Melody. And then we're going to turn this Christmas tree into a little party hat. And I'm cutting like right on the line not leaving any white space, but you could. Okay. So we're going to put just a little bit of glue, which I have lost. It fell off. 
a floor. And I'm going to put his little party hat on. Ain't he cute? And you could make a little tassel or something for it. But it's not totally necessary. Okay. So I want these things down, even though it still looks like waves, you have to look past the waves. Banner. Either your eyes see it one way or it sees it the other. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Make sure your card is headed in the right direction. It's never fun to glue your card backwards. We're going to stamp happy birthday in black. Okay, then we're going to partially pop him up. Maybe I'll put a little extra piece there. I think that's enough. I might have done... No, I think... I don't know what I think. We'll just go with it. Oh, I did put a little piece on his snout. I did. All right. Hmm. Now I got glue on my finger. Do, 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 do. Grass. Then I'm going to have to move some of these markers out of the way. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out big time. It's a party. It's a party. He's got his little party hat on. And now for some balloons. So these, if you wanted to, you could pop up also. You know, the balloon part. And there. And you could dazzle it up with a few little gems, but I didn't. Because it's 8.45, and we still got another card to do. So...
for the last card. Oh, goodness. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to run that through the... I ran that. Maybe I won't do it this time. Maybe we'll leave it plain. But I ran that through the dots die. We'll have one, one dotted and one not. Maybe, just maybe, there's enough dots on the little guys. Okay. But I did run that through. So this piece is two and a quarter by five to match that. So you will see it two ways. Okay. Let's make these little guys. So when you use this punch, since you're punching the paper that way, you have to stamp your little fella. Where's that white paper I just had that I just used? Well, I got this one. Oh, waste not, want not, you know? So for this guy, I used the VersaFine. Yeah, so look what happened. Still, he's got the spots. That's right. Perfect. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. I got an extra one. I only got to cut one. All right. Then I'll use this piece for this. We got to stamp the wings. Wing, wing, wing. We got that part. I'm missing a part. Got it. All right, so this is going to go in real red. So this, sometimes you got to pay attention to your punches. Is that way. You want them far enough apart where you're not wasting. So we're going to do one there and then cut that one. And we're going to go in that direction. So we'll do one there. And one there. It's got a little schmutz. That's the wrong piece. Do, 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 do. Aha. So then you just line it up, turn your stamp around, line it up. Remember, it's a little ahead of me. Usually my head is over it. Yeah, it's a little up. It's fine. And let's see how we did on that one. Better. I can always stamp another one. Right, right, right. Better. No, I don't like it. 
going to stamp another one right there. Red. And uh, uh, God. oh, look how perfection, perfection. Okay, so now you'll see that one doesn't matter, and it's going to get. So there's the one. There's the two buckle my shoes. And then we have this guy right here. There's something blocking. Oh, it's my eyes. Just my eyes. Okay, let's get rid of this sucker. Now, we can put the rest of this together. Let me stamp the happy birthday. Then we'll be done with that part. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you. So when you use this die, it's a little less than one inch. So one inch works perfect. Okay, that's ready. Let's just put this on. And in the set, there's a really, really other cute, cute ladybug that really should get stamped on the inside because it's so cute. Real red, not fake red. It's real red. Okay. So, uh oh, where'd it go? Just had it. I didn't glue it on the inside. I just had it. There it is. Dad, he moved it to the back. At least that could be the same. You know, I think I like it better without the dots. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's put these guys together. And then we'll, then we'll do it. Then we'll do it. So each one of these gets one of those. Like Sozy. Then you put a little glue right there. Don't forget to take off the little thingies. And glue and hold. I love my little colored elephant the best. And then he can go on his spot. 
over there. Take off the little thingies. Little glue around the collar. And hold it for a sec. And then this can get glued down. Right there. That one right there. Happy birthday, kiddo. That's what I want to stamp that says kiddo. Happy birthday, kiddo. And then, where'd they go? Here they are. So, I don't know how many years ago we sold these, but I still have some left. I mean, I also have a jar of them somewhere. But I still have these because I bought extras. So we have some googlies. Um, yes, and all right, so let's bring a couple of these back and the little piggy. There they are, tonight's cards. I hope you enjoyed these little googly eyes. Look at them. Ooh. Yeah, they were just fun. Fun to do. Thank you. Celebrate everything as the hostess set in the top. Yep. Celebrate everything. That's this paper. I think. I think yes, and I think I wrote it wrong on the paper. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um, how did you know? That's right. It's somebody's birthday. Yep, yep, yep. All right, you guys. So I will be back on Sunday with you know my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. If you have any ideas, shoot me a little message and I'll uh, try to accommodate. Good night, everybody. Have a good few days. You really like the ladybug holes? Let me see. This one to this one? Or this one better? I think I like this one better without the holes on there. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I love the ladybugs. Okay, night all. Thank you.